I love Hamza. He's he's so bad. He's good. Yeah. As a comedian, he's brilliant because he comes out and he says he, he says things. You know, let's put male rapists in women's prisons, and you go, you can't write this stuff. This is absolutely brilliant. We get Isla Bryson, who basically <laughs> identifies as a woman because he found he found a wig and a skip and some Primark leggings, and now said, "Right, I'm a two-time rapist, but I don't really fancy going to a male jail. Let's put me in a women's jail." And Hamza says yes, and of course Hamza should say yes because no one knows what a woman is, Nana. I don't know what you are. I'm a woman. Really? Yes, what, a woman. But, but what is a woman? A woman doesn't have a penis. Right, that is incredibly <laughs> transphobic, and I demand everyone on Twitter who is. <laughs> watching it, cancel her immediately. Get rid of her. No one gets cancelled on my show. <laughs> really? No, no one gets cancelled. Apart from you, now get out of here. <laughs> no, seriously. But I don't understand why politicians are struggling with this very simple notion of what a woman is and tripping over themselves to, to get it wrong. Well, no one is struggling what the definition of a woman no. is. No, no one is at all because everybody knows right from when they were born what a boy is and what a girl is. Exactly. It's, it's basic biology. No one is struggling with it, Nana. What people are struggling with is they are terrified of alienating a particularly vocal minority of our, shall we say, voter base, or more accurately, those people on social media, and they're terrified that they're going to get cancelled, they're going to get smeared as transphobic, and their careers are going to be put at an end. But at some point, people mm. need to stand up and go, look, this is nonsense, we can't keep carrying on like this, and fight. we've got to be honest about... Biology. My, my daughter, she said that she's, she's terrified of all of this. She said that somebody said that there's now a hundred and something genders. There's panda gender. Yeah, of course there is. I mean, come on. Because if you're going to do that, then every individual could make their own gender up if you don't fit into the gender one. That, that's why at birth they say gender. Yes. Male, female. So that's, in my view, there are two people. Go, ah, da, 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 but, and where you fit on that is somewhere in between, but it's still a combination of the two. Well, the reality is there's men and there's women. Now, how you feel... Mm. And how you think of yourself, that's something else entirely. But if you want to define that as gender, I mean, I, I, yeah. I, I wouldn't, that wouldn't be the definition I'd have put on it. No. But they have disassociated sex with gender. Of course. But the reality is there's just male and then there's female. Now, if you think you, you, you want to be non-binary, then that is your right. But the reality is non-binary doesn't exist. You're male. <laughs> you, and it sounds controversial to say that. And it's it, not people, even. It's not controversial. Non-binary doesn't exist. And people go, well, I don't want to be put into a category because I'm non-binary. Well, you've just created a category. You just put yourself in one that doesn't exist. Yes. <laughs>